In Project Navigator, I've created all of the constructs and elements, and I've created some view files for plans and a building model file. I will use the model to generate the section views of the building. Let's review this. On the drawing status bar, the name of the project, file type, and name are listed. Minimizing Project Navigator, I'll switch to a top view. To generate the building sections, from the Tool Palette's Document Group Callouts Palette, I'll click the Section Mark A3T tool. At the Specify First Point of Section Line Prompt, I'll pick to the left of the indent in the plan. At the Specify Next Point of Line Prompt, I'll pick past the building to the right in plan. I'll press Enter. At the Specify Section Extends Prompt, I'll drag up past the top of the plan and pick. In the Place Callout dialog box, at the top, you may click the Callout Only button to place this simply as symbols, or you may create actual views. Views may be created in a new, existing, or the current view drawing. At the top in the new model space view name area, I'll rename it East-West section. I want to create a new view drawing. At the bottom of the dialog box, I'll make sure that the boxes are checked for Generate Section Elevation and Place Title Mark. I'll set the plot scale to 1 8 inch equals 1 foot 0 inches. Click the New View Drawing button. In the Add Section Elevation View dialog box, on the first page, General, for the name, I'll enter Building Sections. I'll expand the Category dropdown and select the folder I want to create the drawing in, which is Section-Elevations. I'll accept the default drawing template file, then click Next. On page 2, Context, I'll select all four levels under Division Phase 1. This will XREF all of the constructs associated with these levels. I'll click Next. On the third page, Content, I'll deselect all the constructs not to be XREFed, including all the building outline, and space constructs. I'll click the Finish button. At the Specify Insertion Point for the 2D Section Result prompt, being aware that all of the reference files in this file will be in the new file as well, I'll pick a point above the site boundary. The Generating Sections box appears, showing the view creation progress. When finished, the section tags will have been placed throughout the building. These tags have fields for the attributes with a question mark value. These question marks will fill in when these views are placed on a sheet file layout tab. On the Views tab in the Section Elevations category, under the Building Sections file, there is the named model space view called East West Section. In the section at the bottom of the Views tab, there are three tools. The left one is Check In History. If you check out, then check in rather than just open a file, then the version, date modified, modified by, and comments will contain information relating previous saved versions of this file. The middle one is the Detail tool, and in the Detail section is information about the file. The right one is the Preview tool. Once we open and save the file, we will see images of the overall file as well as each individual model space view. Double-click the file's name to open the Building Sections file. Now we see the section view that was generated with a title mark name based on the one in the Place Callout dialog box. So using the AutoCAD Architecture Callouts to generate your building sections is fairly simple. Keep in mind, your sections will only be as good as your construct files, so you want to invest the effort in drawing those correctly. Doing so, the benefit is that you may automatically generate the sections, as well as elevations. For the view title mark, there is again question marks in the attribute fields. These will fill in when this view is dragged and dropped onto a sheet layout tab. You may also specify the title mark tag to use in the tool palette Elevation Mark Tools properties. Saving and closing this file, I'll next create a north-south section. From the Tool Palette's Document Group Callout Palette, I'll click the Section Mark A3T tool. At the Specify First Point of Section Line Prompt, I'll pick above and to the right of the middle of the plan. 
at the specify next point of line prompt, I'll pick past the building at the bottom in plan and press enter. At the specify section extents prompt, I'll drag to the right past the right side of the plan and pick. In the place callout dialog box, at the top in the new model space view name area, I'll rename it to north-south section. I'll use existing view drawing this time. At the bottom of the dialog box, I'll make sure that the boxes are checked for generate section elevation and place title mark. I'll set the plot scale to 1 8 inch equals 1 foot 0 inches. I'll click the existing view drawing button. In the add model space view dialog box, under the section dash elevation category, I'll pick the building sections file. I'll click OK. At the specify insertion point for the 2D section result prompt, making an educated guess as to where the limits of the first section in that file are, I'll pick a point above the site boundary to the right of the first section. The generating sections box appears, showing the view creation process. When finished, we'll see that the section tags have been placed throughout the building. These tags have fields for the attributes with a question mark value. These question marks will fill in when these views are placed on a sheet file with the Layout tab. On the Views tab in the Section Elevation category, under the Building Sections file, there are now two named model space views, East-West and North-South section. Double-clicking on the file's name to open the Building Sections view file, we see the new section view that was generated with a title mark name based on the one in the place callout dialog box.